Fighters from the Lebanese Hezbollah resistance movement have conducted an operation against an Israeli military outpost in the 1948 occupied territories after the Tel Aviv regime launched two separate deadly strikes in southern Lebanon. Lebanon's Almanar television channel reported that the group targeted the Alabad outpost in the northern part of the occupied lands on Sunday afternoon and destroyed technical equipment there. Hezbollah claimed the attack in a statement, saying it had shelled an Israeli military outpost and soldiers stationed in the area in response to the assassination carried out by the Zionist enemy in the town of Nakura and the injury of civilians. According to the Israeli military, a total of 15 rockets crossed the border in the attack. No injuries were reported. Sirens had sounded in the Israeli border communities of Betzet, Hanita, Rosh Hanikra and Shlomi. Earlier, a Hezbollah fighter was killed in an Israeli drone strike on a motorcycle in southern Lebanon. The Israeli army said he was identified as he was leaving a building previously known to be used by Hezbollah. A short while later, he was targeted and killed. A separate strike targeted two more Hezbollah members in southern Lebanon's Eita Ashab, the military added. Israel launched the war on Gaza on October 7th after Palestinian resistance groups carried out a surprise retaliatory operation into the occupied territories. Concomitantly with the war, the regime has been enforcing a near total siege on the coastal territory, which has reduced the flow of foodstuffs, medicine, electricity and water into the Palestinian territory into a trickle. The Israeli war has killed at least 35,984 people, most of them women, children and adolescents. Another 80,643 Palestinians have sustained injuries as well. The Israeli military has also been carrying out attacks against the Lebanese territory since then, prompting retaliatory strikes from Hezbollah in support of the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. The movement has vowed to keep up its retaliatory operations as long as the Tel Aviv regime continues its onslaught on Gaza.